Good Sunday evening. Thanks for logging on to WKBN.com. I'm meteorologist Craig Zybert. The cold, well, that's our trouble over the next 24 hours. And if you're an allergy sufferer, you're going to notice that the increase in some tree pollen as we go through your day on Monday as we get our temperatures warming up. We're going to start getting that sunshine back out now as we look over our, war, our Youngstown Warren Regional Airport weather camera. This evening, just around 6.30 p.m., sitting in the low 50s. We had clouds around a little part of the day. We had some sun trying to peek through. We had some rain showers across parts of Columbiana County. Those are now working their way out of the region. We're going to see that sunshine building back in in a great way as we go through your overnight into uh, your day on Monday. A lot of sunshine around. But the temperatures, the colder temperatures, they are here to stay for tonight. We're sitting about 13 degrees colder than we were this time yesterday evening. And it's going to be a cold night setting itself up across the valley. But it's clearing skies. That's what's going to allow those clouds uh, to allow those temperatures to work their way down with those clearing skies working its way in. High pressure overhead going to allow that threat of rain to stay off to the east and allow ourselves to have a great Monday before the next round of showers and thunderstorms behind me starts working its way in for Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll walk you through your future tracker showing you those temperatures falling through the 50s this evening and those clearing skies which will allow those temperatures to fall into the low to mid 30s as we start our Monday. So if you are one of those people that have to go out early tomorrow morning you are going to want to have those winter coats back, but you'll be able to shed those as we go through your afternoon as those temperatures work their way back into the 50s by about your lunchtime and a great afternoon tomorrow to go out and for a walk or do some uh, outdoor running because we have a nice dry day on top with a lot of sunshine as temperatures work their way into the 60s, but that will be short-lived as we start adding the rain shower threat back into the picture overnight Tuesday into Wednesday and then off and on Tuesday and Wednesday we'll see the risk of showers and thunderstorms back in that forecast. Not tonight though, 33 degrees. The rain threat, that's ending over the next hour or so. So by the time you get through the rest of your evening, skies will just become partly cloudy and temperatures getting cold down to 33. 62 tomorrow, a great pleasant day, partly to mostly sunny skies in store for your day on Monday. Then as we go into Tuesday, we'll start seeing those clouds increase again with the risk of some off and on showers and thunderstorms even possible, especially Tuesday night into Wednesday as temperatures stay mild through the middle 60s. This, the rain threat does wrap up early on Thursday into the first part of the afternoon as temperatures tumble down into the 50s. Temperatures stay cool for the end of the week into your Easter weekend. Unfortunately, Easter right now, nothing to jump out and dance about with our little bunny there. 52 degrees, your afternoon high next Sunday with a chance of a few showers.